that's your job is to keep connecting her. That's good. And then you can start to push her bigger. But you don't let her change her frame and you don't change your position. You just allow her to take your seat bigger and deeper. Not faster there. She wanted to go faster. Did you feel it? Yeah. Yeah, so not faster. It's something else that, yeah, you feel that? Did you feel it? Oh, I felt it. Okay, so there you got the swing and the push, huh? Uh -huh. Into the bridle. That's what you want. That's lovely. Keep it as long as you can. It comes from your inside leg to your outside rein. Good. Now you're going to do it on the right leg and the left rein. So, right leg more until she hollers a bit. Get the ears leading the way. If the ears aren't leading the way, she's not through in the bridle. Left rein. No bend. Don't think of bending from your hand. Think of bending hollow from your leg. Just a leg hollow. Yeah, just enough to take the inside rein away from her neck. Yeah, a little deeper on the right rein. A little deeper on the right rein. More. Come on, take it. Yes. You feel the difference? I do. Okay. So the minute she gives up that outside rein and gets soft on it, she starts to push you. Good. And then you add to that. You're a little bit more leg to add to that. Nope, get her ears. Get her ears leading the way. And ride a nice straight line. Find a spot on the wall. Keep her totally straight and forward. Get her deeper. Deeper. Outside rain is deeper. Come on, get it. Get it. Leg on until she takes it. Yes, now relax. Good. Quarter line again. Straight line. Ride her straight. And you can really feel then how, how the horse is on or off the bit in a straight line away from the wall, huh? She goes from one side to the other a little bit, huh? Yes. Yeah, so your job is to keep the contact nice and straight. Outside rein, keep it, keep it, yes, there it is. And now the next long side like this, you're gonna go quarter line. When you get her nice and straight, you're gonna push her off your right leg, keeping her totally straight to the wall. So straight, keep her straight, push her to the wall. Push her to the wall. She should hollow, now turn, 10 meter circle. Keep the right hind under your right hip. Keep her right hind with you. That's it, no pulling the front end, turning the front end. Very good, quarter line, do the same thing again. Super. You don't get to start leg yielding because why? Yeah, you gotta know that she's straightening both reins. Otherwise, oh, that looked very nice, that leg yield. But otherwise, you don't really know whether she's going to come off the quarter line and, and pop the right shoulder and leg wheel. And that's what they like to do, huh? They want to go to the wall. Going to the wall is easy. And forward. Good. Very nice. Super. Really regular. Very good rhythm. Keep the bend through the quarter from your leg. This time you can leg wheel. After you have her in both reins going straight, now she can go over. And when you get to the wall, the hollowness creates the bend for the 10 meter circle. Just let it happen. Don't collapse your body. Sit up. Yeah. You ride like a hunter sometimes, then, Which is okay, but not for yourself. <laughs> Very good. Now you're going to push her forward a couple steps and see if you can compress her into a walk. Compress it. Compress it. Good. And then forward again. Keep the right shoulder. Keep the right shoulder straight. Very good. Does she do shoulder ends? Sort of. Okay. So think of push her over and turn her shoulders. Turn her shoulders. That's it. Keep going. Good. And now circle. Now circle. So when you start to lose the right There it is. There it is. There it is. Very good. There it is. And you're losing it, so do something else to circle so she doesn't know that she's lost it. Or you can fix it by doing another leg yield kind of turn. Very nice. Oh, I like her. <laughs> Leg yield, yeah, come on, get the bend. So there she wanted to go through that corner on the inside shoulder. Bump her off of it. Turn the right shoulder in. Turn the right shoulder in. Keep it in, keep it in, keep it in. Now you're going to fix it if you lose it this time by bringing your shoulder in against your inside leg again. Keep it. There you go. That's right. Don't change your body, Mary. The uh, diagonal. Make her shoulder be on the diagonal. More. Yes, now right leg. Yes, that's it. That's what you have to get her to do. See how much you have to bring the shoulder yeah. up? Yeah. Right leg bump. Right leg bump. Yes, and do it again. Leg yielder and turn her and ride the right side straight ahead. 
Leg heel turn, right side forward. Right side, there you got it. Turn her more. Right leg and bring her shoulder. Yes, that's a good one. Now follow that for a 10 meter circle. And so you just follow it too. You see, you didn't even... And your left leg has to stay on. To make, there you got it. Play, play, left brain so she's nice and soft in your head or hollow. Keep it. Now, now push your haunches around that hollowness. Make her, no, on the wall. It's the easiest to keep her shoulders on your leg when you use the wall. So keep the right rein. Keep her flex slightly left. Ride your left hip into your left, your left shoulder. Play the left rein. Play it. Do it on the next long side. You're going to push the haunches around your left leg. Your right leg moves back, displaces her haunches around your left leg. Yes, feel it again. Push again. There you got it. There you got it. Good job. Yep, do it once more. And so now you're just teaching her what the aid is. So you don't you don't hold her very long. You ask for the response and then you let her let her go straight in. So ask her for the response. Beautiful. Beautiful. You see that? Yeah. Oh, I like this. Okay, come back to the middle. Now your right hip will come toward her right shoulder and you press the haunches in. Keep going until she moves them over. A little bit more. Yes, that was fine first time, even though she, she sped up, which we don't want, and she tried to take her right shoulder from it. So again, flex her right. Play, 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 play. Play, play, play the right side until you get a bend. Now add more bend from the outside leg. Add the bend from the outside leg. Yes, tell her that's good, yes. And now go right into a canter and let's just see a, a nice round ears leading canter. An ear leading canter. Make her lead with her ears, rounder than nice. Got to be deeper and rounder. Outside brain makes her deep, inside brain makes her supple. More right leg. Right leg, come on. Make her deeper on the outside brain. Make her ears lead. That's how much she has to give you. Keep asking. Yes. Yes, you feel the jump change? Yeah. Keep it up. Don't let her take the head and neck away from the position that you put them in. Right leg working. Yes, you get the hollowness. Very good. Right leg working. Roll your hips. Everybody always improves when I sing that song. I know when you sing I know. Did you feel that, Mary? Yes. Because you, all of a sudden your hip took the rhythm that was supposed to take. All right, diagonal, right to the trot. Flex her right, play the right rein, keep her supple on it. Yeah, forward, forward into the trot, really round. Now the left knee can, a right rein keeps her deep, left rein keeps her supple, right rein deeper, make her ears lead the way. Keep asking, not faster when you put leg on. Right rein more. Come on, you can get her around her the mat so she starts to lift her back in the jump. Yes, almost there. Almost. Keep it up. Leg. Right rein. See how she pulls away from it? Uh -huh. Keep it up. Take counter back her. Counter back her to make her give you the right rein. Keep asking. It's always the right rein. Yes, yes. You feel it? Yes. Good. Not bigger, not faster. Keep the rhythm. Ride your hip, da dum, ba da 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 dum, ba dum, ba da 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 So your job, what's the first thing at training level? 